Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti, and today I have a tutorial showing how to make this really fancy looking hourglass and instead of sand it has flowers and it's completely made out of resin and other things I got from my previous Sophie and Toffee boxes. So here is my Sophie and Toffee box and I was super excited because this is egg themed and if you know my channel you know I love eggs. So I thought I wanted to make a kind of unique spin on it and with the materials I had I thought Hmm, maybe I'll make a sand clock or like an hourglass clock with maybe just flowers. So first we're going to make the resin and I'm taking some resin, I'm mixing in some pink pigment that I got in a previous Sophie and Toffee box and mixing it nicely together. And I'm taking some dried flowers that came in the box and I'm cutting them off the stems so I just want the flower petal part. And I'm also adding some flowers that I got in previous Sophie and Toffee boxes that I never really used. And I'm taking my resin and I'm filling the mold about two thirds of the way full. And I'm placing the flowers really deep into the mold so it looks like the flower petals are kind of falling down. Then a quick cure. And I'm pouring in the rest of the resin into the mold and I'm stuffing it with a bunch of flower petals so it looks like a bunch of flower petals have already fallen to the bottom of the egg. And this will be the bottom half of the hourglass. Next I'm just taking out the egg out of my mold once the resin is fully cured. Next I added this little metal topper that came in the Sophie Toffee box. I added some UV resin and cured it onto the egg. For the second half of the hourglass I added some more UV resin with some blue pigment and I mixed it together so I have this nice crystal blue color. And I poured the mixture into the mold about halfway and filled it with flowers. So it looks like the flowers are all falling down because this is the top half of the hourglass. Then I gave it a cure. And once that was cured, I added some more UV resin onto the mold and I added some random flowers just so it looks like some of them are kind of floating. And once that was fully cured, I took that off my mold as well. And once again, I added some UV resin onto the metal topper and I cured it onto the egg. Next I took some super glue and I just glued the two pieces of metal together because they were flat on top. And once the glue was fully hardened I added some UV resin on a paintbrush just to give the eggs a little layer of glaze. And I didn't particularly like the metal look where the two metal parts kind of joined together so I added some UV resin all around and I added some gemstones and let that cure. So then it was fully covered with a collar of gems. And originally I was going to stop there but I thought hey let's make it look more hourglass like. So I added some bezels onto some tape and I added resin onto it. And these are just bezels I had around. I can't really remember where I got them from exactly. And I let that cure. And once it was cured, I took it off the tape. I domed it on the other side as well. And I placed my egg thing in the middle of my little bezel. And I had these three pipes that I got from a previous Sophie and Toffee box that I didn't use. So these are plastic pipes and I just added them in a triangular shape around my egg thing and I cured it. And these pipes are meant to be the stands of the hourglass. And I decided to fill the pipes with some pearls and these are pearls that I got from previous boxes. Wow. 
Finally, I domed the other side of my little bezel and I flipped it upside down to become the other base of my hourglass flower clock. And once that was fully cured, I had my finished product, which is my flower hourglass made out of resin. And this is a really intricate design. I thought that I was maybe adding a little too much, but I thought, why not? The more details, the better. And the glare really does kind of take away from the actual piece itself. It's a lot more like clear and less saturated if it's not at nighttime under my studio lights. But I really did enjoy making this. Um, I do want to make some more egg tutorials using the mold that I got from my Sophie and Toffee box. So expect that in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really like how the flowers really do like it's falling downward. Um, the blue is much more crisp and clear than the pink, but it's a learning experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Most of these materials that I got were from previous Sophie and Toffee boxes. And I'll link all that in the description box below. Thank you.